Hi, this is Alisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful jungle greening easel card. It's very easy. If you have been following my tutorial, um, you probably realize that I don't really use pattern paper because every time when I use the pattern paper and the customer want to use exactly the same pattern paper and sometimes it's hard to find it. Sometimes those pattern paper has been discontinued. Sometimes um, I had the paper for a while. So what I like is I like to create my own background. This easel car is totally created from scratch and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. We are going to use our real combo die cast set. The die cast that comes with the steam and it comes with the die cut. And you can do a lot of things with this combo set. Okay, so this is our real stamp set. We are going to, um, it comes with the stamps and also comes with the two die cuts. We are going to use our words background. This is our number one sale background stamp. We're going to use our easel dies again. And we have a special promotion, uh, promotion uh, running now. Um, if you, die, you don't like the easel combos that, that we are um, offering, uh, we also have a 20% of this kind of old online order and you will find a coupon code by the end of this tutorial. Please make sure you like us on the Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel. We don't send the email out every time when we launch the tutorial. So you don't if you don't want to miss our awesome tutorial, make sure you like us on the Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel. Or check our website once a while, uh, once a while. Under the DVD library, there's an over 80 plus tutorial ready to view and I hope you like it. So the material list, we are going to use the Local King's 24 color marker set and to, to color the perils here. And I'm going to show you how to do it. We are going to use the impact. So I like this impact. This one is a fresh green and this one is a cappuccino delight. I like them because the one um, impact comes with five colors and the uh, safety some space and also their color, their quality is really, really good. If you don't have it, don't panic. You can use any Die cut impact will work just fine. This is a Marvy. Marvy works great, but unfortunately they have been discontinued. You can use a tin hose distract ink. You can use memento and uh, any kind of dye based impact will work just fine. The pigment impact also works too, but the pigment is dry a little bit slow. So um, I like to use a dye based impact because it's like dry fast. Okay, so we're going to do our base car. In our tutorial number 81, um, I did show you how to reinforce your basic car. Most of the car on the, um, on the market is 65 pounds or 80 pounds. So when we want to create an easel car, we really need something heavy. So in the tutorial number 81, I show you how you can create a heavier basic car. Make sure you check it out. So in this tutorial, I'm going to just fast forward it because I don't really like to repeat the same technique every single tutorial I create. Okay, so we're going to put at least uh, like a two-sheeter foundation car stock. We are going to put our easel die and then we're going to run to the machine. We are going to die cut it. So this is a two sheet color car stock and uh, I think this car stock is probably like a 80 pounds. It's uh, a little bit heavier than the 60 pound, 65 pounds. So when I unfold it together, they are become very thick. It's like 160 pounds. And then when you run to the machine, you've got to make sure. So you got to run a few times. So you're going to run to um, like a one uh, one direction like this and flip it over and make sure you have a clean um, cutting line before you move your die because it is a very thick car style is like a hundred sixty so make sure you have a clean cut before you uh, pop your die, die cut out so on the right side is only one sheet, on the two side is two sheets, it's much heavier, um, especially when you make it easel that you, you want your die cut, uh, you want your car stick on the table, you got to have a strong, like a good quality car stock. If you only use a one sheeter, like a um, 65, uh, 65 pounds or 80 pounds, when you are singling together, they are kind of like too soft. They won't like uh, they won't stand in nicely. It kind of wiggly. So I use a two sheet and make sure you watch the tutorial number eighty one to show you how to make a two layer cardstock. 
Okay, so a combo set, it does come with two die cuts. One is the background die cut, one is the detail die cut. We are going to use this detail die cut and I'm going to show you how to create your own stencil. And then you can use this stencil to create this kind of awesome pattern background. So what you're gonna do is you want to put your die cut on top of the, um, the line, um, the, li the line green cardstock. You're gonna run through the machine because this die cut is really, really detailed. You got to make sure you have a clean cut. So you probably have to run through the machine one or two times, this side, this side, and make sure the back have a clean cut. Okay, low cooking rubber stain matching die or quality of the die cut is the best. So this is just what to look like after you run to the machine one time. Because those uh, leaves are very, very detailed, um, I just run through the machine one time, it's already have a clean cut, but the, every machine is different. If you don't see you have a clean cut line, run to the machine one more time, just in case. You don't want to pop your die cut out now. If you pop your die cut out and then there's some parts not cutting, and then you're going to have a very hard time to put your die back to line up your image. So make sure you just cut one or two extra time. Make sure you have a clean cut before you remove your die. Okay, so this is what it look like after you die cut it. Like I say, our 2019 combo set have a lot of features. So after you die cut it, your die cut still attach on your main piece of paper. Um, the, the purpose of that is that I leave that option over there. You can create a shaker card, but it, um, like a, there's only linked, uh, four little dotting or little hinges still attached on top. It's very easy to break it off. Um, like this, or you can have a pair of uh, scissors and then you can just uh, trimming off. It's very easy to come off. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then we're going to use a pair of uh, scissors. We are going to just uh, trimming the leaf and the pearl separately. It's very um, easy because it only have a few um, connection connect with the pearls and the leaf. So take your time, we are going to lose the frame. So just, uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect, just to make sure you follow the shape of the petals and the shape of leaves. And then this is how we create our own stencil. So like this leaf, we are going to just trimming it and then kind of lose the, just trim all this section. And it's going to look just like this. Okay, do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to use this one as a stencil. And then keep every piece. We are going to use every single scrap paper that we create. Okay, so we're going to start it. We are going to working on both sides. So we are going to working on the base and we are going to flip over. We are going to working on the back too. So because of the design of this, uh, this easel car when you're assembling, you actually kind of roll over the back. So um, we are going to work on the both sides. Okay, so we have uh, this uh, stencil, so, so we have uh, two leaves here. This is uh, what I did, is just uh, I just die cut a piece of lime green um, cardstock, and it's very, very fine. And then we are going to have a, a few makeup sponge, and then make sure you try to use a light, um, clean makeup sponge for the light color. If you're not sure the color, you can always test it on your scrap paper. Like this green is probably too light for this lime green background. So we are going to just pick a little bit darker color. This is what you're going to do. You are going to use, the, you have a two leaves, so we're going to use both of them. You're going to use one of them, and the best part is you can use this side, you can turn over, use the uh, different side. So they kind of um, work like both direction. We're going to put a little bit of light green, I'm uh, sorry, the medium green, and then we just put probably two thirds of this uh, um, stencil, and then we kind of just rubbing it. Holding your um, paper dye on top of your paper, and then when you um, brush the color, try to do one direction only. Okay, so that's the first one, and then you're going to put your um, this paper dye different direction, and then kind of pick up the other color, kind of rub on top. You use that one, kind of use a, this a piece of 
Daika as your um, template. And we're going to brush it, pick a little bit darker green, change your location, just to try to color, um, cover the whole foundation card. And remember, always start from the light color to the dark color. Do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. After we put all together, it's going to look awesome. And then kind of rotate, change the direction of your, your die cut. Okay. Sometimes you move it okay. Gently brush on top. Okay. And then you can pick a little bit darker color. Okay. And again, try to gently rub. And uh, a little bit on the um, here. Oh, let me move a little forward make sure you can see well. Okay. Gently brush. And uh, everywhere. Okay, we are working on the green first and then we are going to add the brown. Same thing. So this is your foundation is uh, the base and we're going to roll like a turnover and we're going to working on the, the back of your car stuff. Same thing, start from like a medium green. And then remember when you are rubbing the color, one direction only. If you do like this, it's going to cut your dye pieces. So you won't be able to get a um, nice stencil masking okay so you can rotate it um, your car rubbing the color try to work on the green first and we're going to come back for the other color pick up the darker green okay remove the extra and like this or you can like a rotate see i'm working on the both side okay i'm going to grab a layer after um Die cut is as well as thin, so yeah, just to kind of apply on top and then change the direction, gently brush. Okay, try to working on the green first. It still looks pretty mess, but uh, trust me, after I finish it, you're going to be amazed how pretty those all the different green shape. Okay, so just a little bit in the middle, try to hold that piece. Uh, um, little leaves as good uh, as steady as you can and uh, okay you don't have to keep dipping your impact sometimes a little bit lighter color you have enough color on your makeup sponge they work just fine okay so that's what it look like from in the back and then now we're going to change our makeup sponge we're going to start from the light brown okay holding try to find a different um different space like between these uh, two leaves here and then gently rub one direction only okay if not enough we go back to add more so we apply a little bit second color find the gap between the two leaves okay and gently one direction only Try to blend in the color with that green. Try to blend in the brown and the green together. Okay, rotate your base. You know every sing, um, single card that I create, they all looks different. That's uh, what's the fun part of a stamping because you're the artist. Even you use the same tool, the same stamp, same dye, um, they can come out with something totally different. I love to see what you do with uh, Local King's uh, stamp and die cut. Please do send me the photo, the picture, anything. I love to see and uh, we love to hear from you. Okay, so that's my front and I am going to um, turn over working on the back again. So like I say, these little die cut, you can work on the both side, the front and the back. When you turn over, they change your uh, um, they change the direction so make uh, your background actually looks very interesting okay so rub 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 it does make a difference um, when you rub the color one direction only okay one direction only and uh, gently brush gently brush the color will blend in well okay so almost there Let's see, that's pretty nice already. Okay, let's do these. Okay, I think that's pretty much. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what to look like the front and this is what to look like the back. But I still feel like something's missing over there. So I'm going to do a little bit more touch up and I'm going to show you this is something else you can do. So I always like to use a, like a, a little bit lighter brown, kind of soft the, 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 the edge of the car stock. Okay, just give a little bit brush to touch up like this and then re, um, rotate it. Do the other side. Okay, just kind of like a framing, like make sure that like everything's a focus in the middle of your car stock. Okay, so in the least real combo that is uh, two lips here. So when we stamp it, we can just stamp the parrot or we can just stamp the leaf. So this time I'm going to show you how we're going to just use uh, um, this stem image to give a little touch up or foundation card. So we are going to, because this car is a lot of green and a little bit brown already, right? So we're going to use uh, water-based markers and I am going to only color the leaves. Okay, and then we are going to just kind of thinking to leave this part and we're going to give a nice firm press and then that's some kind of leaves and I'm going to do it again. Like I say, this is a handmade car. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just have to make sure that your leaves when you stamp it is on top of your car stock. Okay, see? Is that pretty? And we're going to just do a few. You can do um dark brown or you can do dark green and then kind of just uh, rotate your leaf different direction. Can you see how pretty it is? And then we are going to just stamp few of them. If we um we are very uh, famous of using the what, those kind of marker color to stamp because our stamp is really different. They, we have a lot of a shadow stamp. And what's different between a shadow stamp and a detail stamp? Please go uh, make sure you visit the local King Robert Stamp online DVD library and we explain to you what is the shadow stamp and what is the detail stamp. So um, in this car, I'm going to show you how to color that pearl and you got to make sure that you have the shadow stamp because without the shadow stamp, you won't be able to get this kind of nice image. It is different. What's different um, between the shadow stamp and the detail stamp? And I'm going to prepare a tutorial to explain again what's the shadow and the detail. So that's the foundation card and it looks really nice already. I'm going to give a little bit touch out for the back, um, the back too. Okay, so I am done with my background now. So this is my basic color. And after you flip over, that's my background color. And then um, I still find out my back even after I put the, um, my pair on top, the back is kind of empty. So I'm going to use a words background to just add a little bit um, the background image on top. So this is the awards background stamp. They are our number one um, sale background stamp. It's a definition of love from the dictionary. And you can see on my stamp, I, I mark an arrow there. So this is the other great tip for you because uh, it's a script. And if you don't pay attention to your script stamp, sometimes you get upside down image. So when you mark the arrow, and that way you know when you want to use this stamp, you're going to make sure it's arrow up. And then before we stamp, we're going to kind of just prepare Pair, make sure we stem at the right spot. So for this car, I want to just stem the left side, two thirds of my left side. I, you can stem the whole um, background, but I find that it's kind of a little bit too busy. So, but you do whatever you like. So we're gonna just stamping um, the left side, two thirds of left side. So when I flip over, I am kind of like standing, stamping this section. So this is how I eat my um, background stem. So gently rub, rub, and then tap, tap, tap. Okay, so this is my front, this is my back, and I want to stamp just in this section, two thirds, and then I'm going to just kind of open my car in the two thirds, so I'm going to just uh, put it directly on top, like two thirds. And just rub with your finger. That's how you into your background stamp. It's uh, much easy. 
Okay, see? These are pretty. And we are going to just uh, assemble, in, uh, assemble in together. And uh, I'm going to show you a quick how to color this uh, colorful um, pearl um, um, image. So I'm going to just fast forward it because every tutorial I don't like to repeat the same technique. If you like to learn how to color the stamp with a local king's uh, marker, please just go to the DVD library, check how to use our magic marker. We show you step by step. So this tutorial I'm going to just fast forward it to show you how to coloring. You can try all different colors. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If you have a stamp position, it's good for you because if you made any mistake, you can always go back to give a little touch up. If you don't have a stamp position, then make sure you watch our tutorial number 45. We show you how to use a DVD case to create your own homemade stamp positioner. They work the same. So this is what it looks like. And uh, a lot of people always ask me, what a magic marker you have. Oh, mark is awesome. The quality and the price you can't find anywhere else. But the, the trick is not the marker does a magic job. It's really the stamp that make a difference. I would like you to check our tutorial. What's different between the detail stamp and the shadow stamp? You want to do this kind of stamping technique, you got to have the shadow shadow stamp because these shadow stamp they have reverse image so instead of you call it the paper you call it the stamp because our stamps are reverse see they are completely flat and the outline is reversed so when you scribble the color on top of your stamp the outline doesn't pick up the color that's why after you stamped it your color is solid so make sure you check out what's different between the detail stamp and the shadow stamp and then we have this awesome marker unfortunately the shipping is kind of pricey please check our website for our show schedule we have a lot of a scrapbooking show and steam show come to the show the marker is only $24.99 for 24 colors there but if you order online the shipping fees cost you $16 so make sure you visit us at the scrapbooking show pick up your marker over there we always have a make and take in boots demo and the show special waiting for you okay and then I just use our die cut the detailed detail die cut cut this apparel and uh, see or die cut the die cut line is right next to image it doesn't have that white gap it's very close to image that makes that make this looks awesome and then remember the the template that you created with just a scrap paper so we are going to use this one because this is my die cut and I kind of put my apparel here it looks pretty good already right but I have this piece I'm going to just use that so what I do is I just use the the makeup sponge just give a little bit touch up docking this one kind of make it like a 3d a little bit shadowing in the back to support my apparel in the front so you just use the makeup sponge and it just give a little bit touch up and then use the foam tape kind of mounting this apparel here and then you just put it all together so we are going to assembling together so we just assembling all these together put your apparel up and then remember that two piece uh, die cut that you use it for your um, template and then you can put it back. So that's what it look like. It is awesome and I love this rich um, different green tone. So um, in the end of the tutorial, we are um, offering you 20% off discount for all online order. If you like that, um, because we have a special ESO type promotion running now, if you don't like the combination, don't forget to use your 20% off for all your online order. The promotion is until July 20th. So, and we have a more tutorial coming out. Make sure you check, um, check it out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.